So easy containers for shade. First off, what is shade? Shade is not darkness, nothing grows in the dark. Shade is if your house faces towards the east or even if you face towards the north, you get a little bit of morning sun or underneath, let's say a tree, a little indirect light or even maybe a house is shading off the backyard. So that is what shade is, but not darkness, nothing grows in the dark. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the container first off. I have a container with a nice reservoir on the base. That means that it's gonna allow me to have drainage. It's gonna help with drainage. Uh, this is a moisture control potting soil that won't make plants sit too wet and at the same time will also give them moisture at the right time. Uh, to start off this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shake and feed fertilizer. The reason why I'm just gonna shake some of this down is it'll be in the container. It's a slow release that'll fertilize for the entire season. When it comes to the plant material, I'm going to choose something what a lot of people don't choose, and that is a tropical plant. This one here is, a lot of interior designers are pretty excited about it. It's called Swiss Cheese Monstera. It's an indirect light plant that does very well, but it'll do great outdoors. Actually, it'll do better outdoors than what it'll do indoors. So there's the pot, nice beautiful roots. And we're just going to bring this over, and we're going to put it at the back of the container. And that there is going to be, I'm just going to lift this up. That there is going to be my thriller. So the height, my thriller. The middle is my filler, and then the bottom is gonna be my spillers that go around the end. So there we go, the Monstera, right there. Fantastic plant, put it down nice and tight. There we go. Here I am in the forest. Uh, okay, now to add a little bit of color to this, to add a little bit of foliage, I'm gonna put a fern. This is a painted fern, I'm just gonna break up the roots. You see how I do that every time I plant? That's just gonna make sure those roots don't grow circular. They're gonna actually pop out. So on the side right here, I'm gonna put a little fern that's there. Now, what I'm going to do is put in some impatience. This is the sun patient, and that's the lilac color. You can hear the beep in the background. That beep in the background means that I need to get back to work. Okay, now we're going to pop that in. That's another filler that we're going to use. That's going to give us a little bit of a nice pink color. I always like using pastels in shaded spaces. I find that it's more calming and it's nice. I'm just going to pop that in. I'm going to add three plants in. And that's from Easy by Frankie because they're fantastic in a shaded location. They're disease insect resistant. No problem with that. Boom. And finally, to add a little bit of spill, this here, look at that. That there is what's called Stardust White Sparkle. It's by Duman, is the breeder. A very beautiful variety that's going to just spill its way over that does well in sun to almost full shade. And you can see the dainty little white flowers just make it look almost like like a bridal bouquet. There we have it. So, once again, to recap, good container, the right soil, potting soil, add a little bit of fertilizer, the thriller, which is the Monstera Swiss cheese, the painted fern for a little bit of filler, with the beautiful sun patience in there for the color, and then front for the spill, that's stardust. And that there is the perfect container for the shade garden.